Hi, welcome back to Sergio Tip Clips. Today I'm excited to show you a brand new attachment for the Bernina L8 series of sergers. It's the adjustable tape guide and it is the coolest attachment. It will give you absolute precise results when you attach ribbons and trims to any type of project. And if you're doing something, say on a garment, where you're going to put it near the hem, you can hem and attach in one step. So it's really kind of nifty. Let's go over to the machine, take a look at the different parts of this, how to attach it to your machine, and then we'll see it in action. Let's take a look at how this bracket or collar is going to go on the machine to hold the adjustable tape guide. You can see it has these little projections on the right hand side right here. And those barrels from the tape guide will slide right onto those and hold them securely. Also, there's a screw on the back and this acts like a collar and it's going to go right up over this area under the stitching area. You, this is one of the lights. There's another light on the other side. And I'm going to slide this on with my right hand so that you can see, and hopefully it won't get in the way of the camera. So let's see. I'm going to put this down. It's going to go right under, slide it up. You just have to maneuver it around just a little bit, but it's not hard at all, really, especially if you use two hands. Okay, get it's up here. Now with that screw in the back, I will snug this up. But the nice thing is, once this is on the machine, you don't have to remove it, even if you're not using the tape guide. It will fit multiple accessories that will be coming in the future. But in the meantime, it won't get in the way of any of your other feeder accessories. So that makes it very convenient. Once it's screwed on, it can stay put until you need it. I've inserted my needles and snapped on my presser foot so that I don't have to work around the tape guide. And here it is. Here are the barrels that will clip onto these projections and the spring-loaded clip that my thumb is pressing down on will hold those in place. And then when I want to take it off, I just squeeze and slide it off to the right. I'll put these right over those. It's clipped on. And now we're ready to insert our trim and fabric and try this out. I'm threaded up for a narrow cover stitch, stitch number 24, which has my center and right cover stitch needles in. So for guidance on where to position my trim, I'm looking at the indicator ridges on the toe. This is my center needle. This is the right cover stitch needle. So my trim is an inch and five eighths wide. I'll slide that into the tape guide. And what I'm doing is I'm looking at where my needles are going to fall on it. And that looks just about right for the right side. I'm going to tighten up the rail screw first. And you can see it stabilize. It kind of lifts up as it stabilizes. And I think I'll sink my needles in here just to hold this snugly and straight. Now I'll bring that left guide over. I don't want to squish the trim or crush it. I want to just let that rest against the left edge of the trim. And now I'll tighten it up and I have a perfect guide. It's almost, it's like, almost like being on rails. It really is um, because it'll just ride right between here. And I've pressed an inch and a half deep hem on this marine blue cotton. You can see I've got a line drawn here. So let's try this out and see how it works. And I am going to hem this and attach the trim in one step. So I'll move my fabric 
the hem edge right over to this inch and a half mark. And that's all I really have to keep an eye on as I'm stitching because the tape guide will guide my trim, which is fantastic. We'll get this all done in one step and it should be perfect. Let's give it a go. And my stitch length is on 3.5. All of my settings are on the default setting for this stitch. I'm not touching the tape at all. I am just letting that ride right under here and it's working perfectly. This would make a great trim on a shirt, uh, a very lightweight summer skirt. I, I think it's a little bit lightweight for that, but it would be really pretty for a shirt. Let's take this out and take a look at it. I have this on the table so that we can really see how perfect it is. And I have my ruler just to show you exactly how even this is. So it's just a hair under an inch and a quarter from the edge. And as we slide along, it stays to the fraction of a millimeter exactly where we want it. It's perfect. So this is a fantastic tape guide and it's great for all sorts of trims, or if you want to create your own uh, from fabric, fantastic. And because it's so wide, it's going to make it really easy to guide that along. I'll finish up stitching the other side of this, and we'll show you the whole thing. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future tip clips or any other types of announcements. If you have questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you quickly with an answer. Happy sewing and searching. See you again soon.